Straighten up that line. Hey, you, 112th in the back. Hey, get back here. Make a tower. Use the kiss method. The what? The kiss method. Keep it simple, soldier. Not simple enough. That's better. Remember, keep it simple, soldier. Now get out of my sight. What? Hey, everybody. Mrs. Gates here. Today we're going to be stop. Uh... <laughs> We're going to be talking about simplifying fractions. Um, we're going to keep our notes really short and sweet today. So um, we have three, four steps that you're going to need to do in order to simplify fractions. So step number one. is going to be to take your fraction and you're going to list all of the factors of the numerator and the denominator. So list all factors of the numerator and denominator. So let's look at what that would look like. Let's take the fraction 9 over 33. <laughs> so we would list the factors of 9 and the factors of 33. So let's start with 9. I'm going to come over to the side. I know that 1 times 9 gets me 9. And I also know that 3 times 3 also equals 9. So my factors of 9 are 1, 3, and 9. My factors of 33 would be 1 times 33 and 3 times 11 and I can't think of any more so I'm just gonna leave it there alright so that's step number one is to list all the factors now you want to make sure that you have all the factors listed so that you do not miss something and so step number two is to find all of the factors they have in common. Can y'all hear that music? I can. Okay, find all the factors they have in common. So going back up to my factors, we see that they have one in common, and they also have three in common. All the rest are different. So that's step number two, is to find all the factors they have in common. Step number three is to divide both the numerator and the denominator by the GCF, which is stands for the greatest common factor. So divide the numerator and the denominator by the GCF, which is greatest common factor. Now, we already have all our factors listed up here, so now we're just looking for the ones they have in common, what is the greatest? Well, one is greater than, three is greater than one, so our GCF is going to equal three. GCF is three, so we're going to take our fraction of nine over 33 and divide both by our GCF, which is 3. OK. 
Okay? This is going to simplify our fraction for us. So when we divide, we just divide straight across. 9 divided by 3 is 3. 33 divided by 3 is 11. Okay. And then step number 4, finally. is to write your simplified fraction. So if you were to multiply by, oh, hold on. If you multiply, uh, divided by your GCF, you should have your um, simplest fraction, but you always wanna make sure that it is fully simplified. There is nothing else that I can divide both three and 11 by except for the number one. Um, which wouldn't really get us anywhere. So our simplified fraction is going to be 3 over 11, which is my final answer. So that's how you simplify fractions. On the left-hand side, you're going to do a couple of examples on your own um, to practice, and you will show those to your teacher tomorrow. So we're going to do three examples. The first one is 25 over 32, 30 over 54, and 9 over 27. Okay, so follow the steps on the right-hand side to help you answer these questions. Good luck! What do you measly 1 16th want? What did you say, soldier? That's what I thought. <laughs>